Hey, so I've just realized that in the video where we discussed about uh, data types, I did not mention that in Python there is no character data type. Because anything that is enclosed between a single quote or a double quote is recognized or interpreted as a string but not as a character. So there's no concept of character uh, in Python. So let me remove that from the data hierarchy right here. And also, there is no data type such as byte or short. So if it's an integer, it is an integer. There are no subcategories uh, which have different uh, sizes, different maximum size capacities. If it's an integer, it's integer. And in the same way, there's no long as well. Uh, and also, there is no double data type as well in Python. So there are only two uh, really data types which which are I mean two numeric data types which are integer and float and there is a third data type as well which is uh, which is complex right complex it's go it goes like uh, complex it's basically used to represent complex number for example 2 plus 3j uh, something like that right now these are the three data types and uh, for for I mean these are the three numeric data types I mean uh, we also have string and boolean data types but in Python, we don't actually need uh, the hierarchy of data types because Python is meant to automate things for us. Like, you know, it's, 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 it's really simpler than Java. So that is why there are many data types that are eliminated from Python. For example, we have, they have eliminated short, byte, uh, long, which all belong to the same integer data type as the subcategories. And in the same way, they've also eliminated double because uh, they have float, so why have double, right? So Python actually takes care of the space uh, itself, and uh, it's a modern programming language, and it it has all those features of good uh, resource management. So what I meant to say is, you don't need the hierarchy of data types in Python. So yeah, that's how I want this video to get started. I want you to know that there are uh, that uh, certain data types are eliminated from Python. Actually, I think long, long, I think is there in Python 2. Point, uh, Python 2 version, uh, but in Python 3 it is deprecated, which means the version which we are using right now is a Python 3.7.3 version. So we don't have long in this version. But if you are using Python 2. Point X something like 2.1 or 2 or 3 whatever then you will have long in it but in the most recent version which is 3.x uh, they have deprecated Python uh, sorry <laughs> what did I say well that they, they deprecated in the most recent versions but in Python 3 they have uh, deprecated uh, the long data type all right, so yeah, let's get this started. And uh, first of all, let me save this file as a .py file. It's, uh, it's on my desktop, uh, learn programming, type conversion. Let me save this as a uh, type conversion, right? Yeah, type conversion .py. Right, now we are ready to go. Uh, so for example, first of all, let me uh, uh, define a variable. Let's say a equal to two. So in order to know the type of this variable, I'll print out the type of this and you know how to print the type of a particular variable, just, just type print of type of A. And one more thing here, you, you don't need semicolons uh, to terminate statements in Python. Uh, in, in Java, whereas in Java, you need to actually put a semicolon at the end of every statement. But in Python, unlike Java, you don't need to uh, type in a semicolon but you can type in a semicolon if you want for example if you want to you know put these two statements in a single line rather than uh, separating them in two lines like this you can put a semicolon like this and you can copy this and you can paste it here in that way you can accommodate more than two statements two different statements in a single line by separating them with semicolon but if you want to do it line by line you don't need to you know put a semicolon anywhere so that's a, uh, that's once again a great feature because uh, because programmers often tend to miss semicolons, which may result in uh, in compilation errors. So Python fixed that by just removing the concept of semicolons, not completely removing, but removing the mandatory thing that semicolons must be. 
So anyway, so I've created a new variable uh, a and I initialized with the value 2 and printing the type of a and you know the type of a which will, you know the output which will be printed here. So it's going to be integer because a is 2, 2 is an integer data type value so the, the data type of a will be automatically set to integer, right? Right now, so the next thing, uh, let's say you want to convert this this value, this variable a, or uh, this value two into let's say a double data type. So what you do is let me create another variable b equal to. Uh, I'm sorry, there's no double data type in Python. There's float. So I meant to say, what if you want to convert two into a float? So what you need to do is you say you create another variable b equal to. And in order to convert it into a float, what you need to do is just type in float like that and open and closed parenthesis like that. And inside this open and closed parenthesis, type in the value which you want to convert into float. So in this case, I want to convert the value a into float. So I'll say uh, float a. So we have successfully converted the value which is stored in the variable a into a floating data type. And then we assigned it or we are storing it in the variable b. So let me print out print out b, print out uh, actually type of b to see which type it has been. So let me go ahead, uh, let me open my command prompt and let me go ahead and uh, run this python space type conversion dot py. Right, so there you go, the first, the first output says, the first line of the output says int. So uh, the type of a is int as we all know and then we have converted into it into a float and we are printing the type of b so it printed out float we have uh, which means we have successfully converted the variable a into a float variable into a float data type so now actually let's print out the actual value of of b rather than the type of b and let's see what the value will be so 2.0 so yeah so just added a decimal part uh, to this value too and then yeah that's how that's that's how it is converted into a floating data type so in the same way let's say you have 2.4 uh, over here and you want to convert it into an integer data type so what you do is you say instead of float you say int int of a and uh, that's it let's go ahead and run this there we go. So 2.4 is the number and we are converting it into an integer by with this statement int of a and we are storing it in the variable b and we are printing the uh, value b. So 2 is printed which means it just removed the, the decimal part of this thing. Just like that. It converted into it into an integer. So in the same way just like how we did in the in the previous Java tutorial we can also convert uh, things from uh, character to integer uh, or integer to character. So I said that there are no concept of characters or there's no data type as characters in Python but uh, there is a concept of ASCII which means each character is actually it's it's universal as I've told you any character must first be has its own ASCII value and it must first be converted into an ASCII form before it gets interpreted by the computer. So I'll be showing you how to convert a character into an integer or an integer into a character. Right, so let me clear all this thing and let's say I have a character, let's say A equal to capital A. Now this is a character, now uh, let's say I want to convert uh, this into its corresponding ASCII form. So I'll say ASCII, ASCII, let's say ASCII, oh sorry, uh, I think that's a reserved keyword, I don't know, I'll say ASCII underscore value, the name of my variable right there and I'll say to convert this into an ASCII form, I have to say, I have to use the keyword ORD and then followed by uh, open and close parenthesis and inside this open and close parenthesis, you need to type in uh, A, the variable A. And now let's go ahead and print out uh, the value, the ASCII value uh, like that. Let's go ahead and run this. So what must be the output here? You know, I have uh, told you earlier that the ASCII form or ASCII value of capital A is 65. So we'll get 65 right here. Right, 65 we have got. So that's how we convert a character into an ASCII form. And now let's do vice versa. Let's convert uh, ASCII value into its corresponding character. So let's say I have A is equal to 69 once again, uh, which is capital E in ASCII, sorry, in character. And uh, let's convert this into a, actually into uh, a character where, uh, value right so now what you need to do is you have to say uh, let's say b 
equal to and then in order to convert this into a character you say chr of a just say chr of a and let me print out the value of b to see if you have converted it or not and let's go ahead and execute it there you go capital e is printed so we we use the keyword chr to convert an ascii value into its corresponding character so yeah that's all about type conversions in uh, python programming language once again if you have a string something like uh, this like that uh, you cannot obviously convert it into a number or into a character or something like that or into a boolean so yeah it all depends uh, things are different with strings but for example if you have something like uh, st equal to uh, for example let's say 23 23 is an integer i mean it's a number which means it is compatible with integer data type which means it it can possibly be it can potentially be converted into an integer so let's try to convert this into an integer so let's say a equal to int of st and let's print out a to see if uh, we have converted it or not so let's see if it works yeah it, we have actually converted it into an integer data type so we can directly convert uh, from string to integer by using once again the int keyword but in java you cannot do that you cannot uh, just say uh, just do explicit conversion to convert a string into another data type so that's why i have told you that uh, string conversions string to integer or vice versa conversions will be seeing on in the upcoming videos for java but in python you can directly convert it like that so for example once again let's say you have a de uh, decimal value like that so what you need to put here instead of int we are converting we should convert it into a float because it has a decimal part so you just type in float there and that's it you see that uh, there's no error and 23.89 is printed so yeah it's easy in python to convert from string to other data types but uh, for example let's say you have something like something like only a set of characters like that my name let's see what error it shows so there you go it's so it shows a value error it says could not convert string to float obviously because this is not a number it cannot be converted into a float or a integer or a boolean as well so yeah that's all about type conversions in python so let's move on to the next video